tag is just simple keywords or you can say it's a metadata okay tag is nothing but your keyword or you can say it's a metadata now consider now some of the content you want to search based on some keyword okay like consider uh, some data you have that means maybe you have one page okay and this page you want to search based on some keyword okay so maybe it's a man okay so this one keyword we have that is man okay and based on that you want to search this page okay this is the page you want to search and this one is our man page only main page okay so now this one keyword we have this keyword that is main and when i when i click then if consider i try to search this one this man then we'll get this page and maybe inside this page what we have we have a components got it so uh, this is just simple keywords or you can say it's a metadata so why we are calling is a metadata so just simply come here inside this and just try to open any page okay here we have a sites and uh, this is the sites so consider uh, this one we have a weekend okay this is the weekend we have okay i'm just going inside the properties go inside the properties and you will see one tags property see here this is the tag property okay so for this website this is the website we have that is weekend okay no and whatever the information you are saying about this see this one is our content okay and this content related information where we can see inside the properties okay so your content related content this is nothing but your uh, this is nothing but your metadata so inside your this is this is everything is nothing but your metadata only okay that means you have one website this website website is also a content okay and this content related you have some other information that is thumbnail advanced option is there if you want to give the permission here you see title is there okay and here we have a tag as well so that's why we are calling this is a metadata got it so here you can also search this content that means this is the page we have we knows that uh, which one yeah we can so open okay so this is the page we have and if you want to search this page based on some keyword then you can just simply search okay you can just simply select it okay so right now we don't have any tags like related to a weekend okay if you want to attach if you want to give the reference to this one you can just simply select and next okay and when you will search when you simply you have selected now save and close okay now where we can search here we have options of the search inside our content just come here and just simply search it okay so what we have to search standard something is that huh? standard tag okay just simply search with the standard only first of all so we don't have anything like we okay we'll go to the tag and we'll just simply select it here properties and inside these properties oh it has removed again we have to go we have performed to weekend okay go back here go to the properties this is a multi tags okay now you can select more than once okay so just simply come here very little i'm just taking here we have activity and here we have a biking save it we have saved come here and just simply search biking and just simply select it it has coming okay now with that which one is our weekend so we have to search that weekend here somewhere we'll see the weekend as well okay so lot of tags it has attached with this biking okay that means lot of page and the images it has attached with this biking okay let it be so uh, tag is just simple keyword or the metadata we can say if you want to classify the content within a website that means one website you have and you want to search some portions of the content of your website or you want to search the entire content 
okay then you can easily uh, categorize by using this tag okay and another thing your tag only perform to your pages or you can uh, or we can perform to a assets so our tag will perform to a page or the assets okay where we can create a tag in tagging console okay and what is the type of the tag that is cq colon tag okay now we'll see how we can create a tag just simply come here uh, just go inside the aem okay this is our here we have options of the tool general and you will see this tagging console just click here once you will click now we have to create a tag so just simply cl click here and just create it here we have a two option first one create tag and create namespace namespace is just like a folder okay this is also your tag only but this one is just simple as a, your folder so before creating a tag make sure that we have to create a namespace if you are not creating that is also okay but if you want to organize this uh, tags and everything then you can create it create this simple and just name it so this is the main tag so this is the main tag i have written it so we have created where it has this one okay now this one is our tag okay inside that this is the namespace inside that i'm just creating a tag okay just simply give it here color so i'm just i have given the color here submit this is the tag i have created now i'm just creating some another tag inside this color that means this is called as a nested nested tags when i create some tag inside this present existing tag that is called as a nesting okay so just click here and just simply create it okay this is the tag i have created simple now uh, this tag i have created this is the nested tags of this color okay so now i just want to perform this tag to my pages so how we can perform it you can just simply go inside the page in which uh, page you want to perform it just simply go there after that select that page so i'll just want to perform this tag to this man okay now before that just come here where we are go back we have created the tag now where we can see here only okay inside this main tag we have created come here and just simply click this one okay we have clicked this one now is that tag referred to some pages right now no because we haven't attached it so how we can see this one click here and here we have options of the reference okay you will see zero reference we have right now okay now just click this v retail activity maybe we have this biking now you can just see here we have a 27 references so that means it has connected with this 27 okay they have applied this biking to this 27 reference so you can just see from here if you want it content only i just want now okay now i'm just going inside our tagging Okay, inside our page, I'm just going and trying to apply that. We'll try to apply to this to this man page. Okay, just go inside the properties. Here we have a tags. See, this is also a field. If you want to create this one okay out of the file uh, out of the box field it is okay so we have to use the sling column resource type and here we have a multiple tags okay this one we have to use then we will get this and you can choose more than one tags from here okay so main tag is here color and after that i'm just taking this red just select it and just simply save we have saved this one now we just simply have to refresh this once 
here we have options of the search okay so make sure that we have to search in the main only main content just click here rate we have given hit rate hit enter which one is our page man something like that no see man we got it this is the man we got it and see here we have created a few seconds ago okay no here they have mentioned the timings and everything so when we have applied to a particular tag to our tag a few seconds ago okay so now i'm just taking something else come back okay just simply come here we retell language master en right now i'm just selecting this woman properties we just simply have to search and blue now we have to search the blue instead of this refresh it where is that woman yeah here you see we got the woman as well a few seconds ago okay now uh, we can only perform the tags in our two concepts only first that is dam and second one is a page a dam is also known as the assets no okay so now we'll try to perform to our dam so how we can perform it where is the dam here we have options of the assets just go there files and uh, maybe somewhere we have a vrtl so we'll try yeah this image we have just simply select this one go inside the properties and whatever i have open this is the metadata of your assets okay so here somewhere we have options of the tag see you can also select more than one tags from here as well so click color and this time i'm just taking black save it okay we got it now where we can search so here inside that here we have options of the content okay but we have to search in our dam okay content dam is there so inside the content we knows that we have a dam and there all of these thing we have stored it so if you are if you are in some some pages like a uh, consider you are inside this page that is weekend and this event is there okay so you are inside this page just simply go back from here because if you are trying to search here you can't get the answer just go back hit enter and now you can search inside this so it will search all this folder and it will just fetch it what we have to search hit enter see a uh, one minute ago or uh, this one we have attach with our blacks now you can just simply go there now you can just go there where is the tag here we have a tools tagging consoles we have inside that here we have options of the main tag okay so we'll see that is black has refers to someone so we have to go inside the reference and see now your black is referencing to this one page and which one it is this is the image that means a asset got it now main thing is now where it are storing we knows that it will store inside your crxd crxd have a content and this content have dam okay so inside this dam what it will store only dam things okay so what we need we need a cq tag okay so here we have options of the cq tag and which one main tag no this is the color and inside this color this one is our red okay and how this one it has created <clears throat> by using this cq taggings 
components and tags okay so whenever you are creating a cq tags that means whenever you are creating a tag so it will create by using this path got it easy no if you want to create okay whenever you are creating manually we not create a manually but if you want to create then you can simply use this resource type okay got it now the main thing is how we can take this one as a back in by using a backend how we can take this data by using a backend okay so now we'll see this one okay so here this is the code we have that is a main tag okay no i i need the permissions of this one see whenever you if you are in the backend code okay when you are in the backend just try to access this content only because this one is your controller all your data where it will store inside the content folder only so all the time we have to access only the this content okay so here we have one property that is resource resolver okay this is the resource resource resolver we have and it gives the configuration and the connectivity of your crxd so if you want to go inside this one okay inside this path you can't go directly okay no so we need something we need some connectivity and the configuration then we can go inside this configure inside this crxd got it got it no okay so by using that we are just simply consider we went here okay now from that okay we got it that means we got this resource resolver now what i want this this is my tag that means i just want to perform the operation on my tag now okay so for performing the operation on the tag you need a tag manager okay you need a tag manager for performing the operations on a tag is the easy okay so this tag perform the crude operations that means create read update delete so if you want to create a tag delete a tag update or the delete something then you can use this tag manager got it if you want to read as well you can easily read it now our now what we want we want to read this tag inside this notepad how we can do that things so see first of all we got the resource resolver that means it has this permission this permission that resource resolver we have but we haven't created the tag manager so how we can create so one method is there that is adapt to okay and here we have to use the class uh, your class name class name dot class okay now you will see so we got the permissions that means we got the permission of this crxd okay and what what will store inside the crxd resources what we will store resources so everything you are saying no inside this content folder these are nothing but your resources okay so now i just want this resources now okay from so everything is a resources only here okay and what we want we want a tag okay so for that what we need we need a tag manager how we can retrieve this one for that we need a tag manager no okay so how we can get this tag from this pages so we already have the resource resolver okay simply we'll do one thing from this resource resolver from this resource resolver we'll use one thing that is adapt to method adapt to method is there and what you want you want a tag manager you can just simply write tag manager done okay now this method will return the object of the tag manager come here tag manager and here i am just using tm that is tag manager done now what it has done first of all you have a content folder this is not just simple consider this is nothing but your content folder from the content folder it has everything so what you want you want the tags okay so if you want to perform any operation here so what you need you need a uh, where you are performing on the tag so what you need you need a tag manager no so how we can get the tag manager so here this is the resources this resource resolver is nothing but the resources that means this one okay from that you want a tag manager so for that we use this adapt to method 
so whenever you want to convert from resource to object this is nothing but tag manager is nothing but your object why because whatever you are returning here you are getting the object only this is nothing but our tag manager no got it done so from this tag manager now this one is done now we got the tag manager that means we can easily perform the crude operations on our tags so what we need from this tag manager i just want to get the tags what i want i'll just simply want to get a tags what is the path of your tag so this one so i just want this one you can just simply copy come here and just simply paste it you got the tags okay so this one will use for the retrieving the tags that means if you want to perform the crude operation you can simply use this tag manager after that here we have get method by using that you can retrieve the tags okay but instead of uh, get tags we'll use a resource method resolve okay this method will use for retrieving the tags got it now you want to delete the tags how you can delete it tag manager dot okay delete tag and you can mention the path of your tag simply then you want to uh, create a tag so how we can create 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 tag simply you just simply have to mention it like that N mention the name and the title and descriptions of this one okay you will get you will create the tags just like the page page manager is also there so page manager is used for performing the crude operation on the page that means if you want to create update delete and read if you want to perform this operation then you can simply use page manager where we want to perform the operation on a page okay simple now i just want a page so how we can take it so we knows that we have one resource resolver resource resolver we have no you can just simply use this adapt to and once we are using this adapt to here we have to use page manager dot class and once we are getting this one so whatever you are mentioning inside this adapt to method you will get this object and this this is the thing page manager got it so this one this page manager i have mentioned here see i got the object of this page manager got it so now you can just simply get the pages so how we can get the page page manager dot get pages then no we can easily get the pages then you can mention the page here whatever page you want so it may be inside your content uh, maybe a vretail page is there so you can just simply mention it and you can get the vretail page inside that maybe you have a us en so if you want this one you can get it and from this pages now i just simply want to read a title how we can read it okay so simply consider this is the en i have whenever you will mention here see whatever you are uh, trying to fetch it so it will give you so like consider now i here i just want to get pages okay now so it will return a page so it will return a page so we got the page now okay now from this page i got the pages maybe it has a more than one page okay no it may be a more than one page so how we can retrieve this more than one pages okay so for that you can simply use page dot list children we have okay list children we have that means this list children method gives you the pages okay from this page object okay so here it may be a uh, iterator is there it's written the iterator of the page so here we have to create the object list children i have created and just done so see from this page we need a children's okay so we got it and all this it has returning inside this object but it has more than one so we need some structure we need some framework for storing this objects and everything okay no so for storing this page we need some structure so that's why we have taken this iterator and we have store all this all our pages inside this list children okay now just consider come at downside now already we knows that how many pages we have maybe we have a more than one so if you have more than one for that what you need you need a uh, some 
some iterator you need no some iterator you need for iterating the values okay so now you can just simply check it if inside this list children if we have a pages then you can execute this part okay simple how we can check it this one so just simply write here list oh okay go inside that you can just simply write list children list children dot has next so this is the method we have by using that we can easily check like it inside that inside this list children we have a element or not so first consider you have a three elements first two three elements you have so first of all it will go and it will check inside this zero index we have something so we have one it will go to the second index it will check inside this one index we have something so this is zero this one is one and this one is two okay so here inside the zero index we have some content yeah we have so this is page one consider this one is a page one and this one is a page two and this one is a page three so we have three pages okay now in page one in the zero index we have this one page one that means this condition is true second time again if when it will execute this code again it will go it will check this time this one again third time it will come it will check this one next time it won't uh, if he will get the blank space that means it's not getting anything so that time this condition is false got it okay but the thing is now what we need we need a title what i said i need a title okay no from this page is see here we have a content we retail us and the en so inside this en maybe we have a 10 pages from 10 pages i need a title of this 10 pages so how i can get it so this condition i have written it will go to till this 10 it will execute this 10 pages okay for the 10 pages it will execute this while loop okay no so now we got it we are checking it now we need each and individual page how we can get simply we say like that list children dot next so what it will do this next method will return the first page okay that means the content of this page so consider inside this en okay here we have a 10 pages and first page is page one okay so this is the page this entire page it has written by using this next method so where it will store so it has written what it has written page so obvious obvious we can store inside the page only we got the we got the child page we got it once you got the child page now what you want okay so we need a title how we can get the title okay no if it has written a page okay what it has written page it has written from this page if you try try to get this <coughs> child dot page and you can just simply use here get title that means now you got a title but is this a good thing what you guys think now just simply come here where is your en okay consider here we have a vretail vretail have this us and this us have a en and this en okay en have this man from this man do you have title here where is the title then inside this seriously it has present inside this one it's not there it's present no and what you what you are trying what you are trying to get we are directly trying to get this main so it's not possible no it will give you a null pointer exception is it null pointer exception it will throw okay so to prevent that why we are taking this one directly we will just do one thing no instead of taking this we will simply say like that get get resource get resource content that means now it will return this jcr colon content now what it will return this jcr colon content by using this one okay from this jcr what you want okay so first of all we got this one okay now 
child page here we have to use the resource and this resource have this method okay let it be now just for the example get resource here we have to use the get resource resolver and get resource resolver have a get resource and this get resource have a get resource content okay done let it be about this we'll just simply will not use this one i'll show you directly like this only okay so here child dot get resource content we got it that means we got the jcr content here okay now what we got maybe uh, inside this is the resource object okay now it will return the resource resource and we'll got the small resource here okay that is done so we'll get the resource now by using this resource you can easily get your title so how we can get it resource dot get see you cannot directly jump inside this we got this jcr title okay but if you want to jump inside that you cannot directly jump and you cannot directly access this one for that you need a property so how you can get the property so you can just simply say like get get value map so when you will say like that now you have access of this key and the value okay whenever you will write this get value map that means you have access of this key and the value got it now from that here we have a lot of no what you want so i just want this jcr title so i am just saying like i just want to get jcr what is the name there colon title okay what is that jcr colon title i want it so you can just simply write colon and what is the type of that you can just simply write this one there is not a issue another get method we have that is we have to mention there the data type as well okay we have to mention there data type as well so if you have this one so you can simply use this see so right now jci title is in string type okay so that's why it has written this string dot class okay so whatever you will mention here you will get this data only okay so you have mentioned their string so you got the string title easy okay we got it this one instead of that this is also one way but we'll do one thing no we got this list uh, we got this list children dot next we got it this list children dot next we can simply do one thing from this list children that means child page we have okay we'll simply take the path okay from the child see here inside this main what we have i have only three what jcr created we have created by and last primary type but by default we have another thing that is a gate path so whenever you want this one it will whenever you will call one method that is gate path you will get this one what you will get this yeah this is this is the path you will get when you will mention like this this one and from this path what we want to add what we want we want a jcr content okay there is a second way now so you can just simply plus double quotes you can just simply write slash and jcr colon content okay in real life you will not do like that okay no whenever you will go to the company you will not write this static directly okay then how we can write so first of all you just simply have to create one object okay that is constant object you have to create string uh, what is that this is a content no jcr content it is so just mention here like this name and inside that we have to store this one jcr colon content like that way we have to store and this is the method we just simply have to this is the variable we just simply have to use here now you got it is done and uh, make sure that if someone don't want to change it so make it this one as a final private and final now is done like that we will use okay for this slash as well they create 
for this slash as well what they will create one separator that means one variable they will create and for the jcr content as well they will create some another one in company okay so like that way we have to use it and we got this one okay we got this one and it will return it will return the page objects so once it will uh, sorry it will return the resource object i think so once it will return the resource object you just simply from this resource you just simply have to resource dot get value map and from this get value map you just simply have to get and what you want this time i i'll not want uh, jci title will simply take this cq template so you just have to mention a cq colon template and double click and here you can string dot class you can mention it then is there any difficulty how we can do the same thing for tax how we can do that the same things for the tax now i'll tell you we have a resource resolver okay from this resource resolver 